While many musical instruments today are mass produced in factories, the art of handmaking instruments is still alive today. We're about to have a look inside the studio of Aldo Sopo Santini, who makes and restores violins and cellos. I am a violin maker and uh, uh, I am a violin restorer. Uh, normally, uh, we work in instruments 300 years old, uh, so restoring it means to bring it to original situation when the instrument was made 300 years ago. I was uh, studying cello and the market was, uh, the prices were very high, so I decided to make one just to, for myself. And that was the beginning. It was not that difficult and the cello was uh, quite good. I started very carefully doing some restoration for a friend, for a friend that, was, that is a violin dealer. He asks me to, um, uh, to study more, so he sends me to a um, workshop in London, quite an important workshop, where I, I've learned all the uh, techniques that people learn in 200 years of restoration, because London was the first place, England was the first place where people start restoring instruments from it, uh, Italian instruments. Recently, uh, I am not making new instruments, I am just restoring. For the last five years, I have done very, very few instruments, new instruments. I am working on restoration. I like very much restoring, and uh, of course, I like uh, the, the best moment is when the instrument is finished, and so I can hear the sound. At the end of six months working or more, I am quite cur curious about the sound, and so that's the best moment. It, I am always learning because it's a very, very slow process and what is important is to learn the, the philosophy that is behind the restoration. So uh, techniques are few and you have to learn the basic techniques, but the most important thing is uh, to understand how to be. So the preservation of what you think it was the original uh, state of the instrument and uh, uh, it's important to be confident in, in uh, so to think that the instrument was made by somebody that was able to do instruments. Because after 18th century, nobody knows how to make violins or cellos or violas. But in, uh, during all the 16th, 17th century, people was very good in making instruments. So when you restore, you have to keep in mind that there is something that you don't know, but it was very well done. So if you understand how it was, you have to go in that way. As we've just seen, it takes a lot of hard work and passion to continue such a rare art form. 